got to cover mom. And I had a message I kind of wanted to respond to. I suppose I don't usually, I think, talk too, well, I guess I do talk a lot about my recovery, but I had somebody ask me a question and it was, it was a really good question. I'll, I'll put it in the description below. And they were like, hey, recovery mom, um, the gist of the question was, you said you were on a meal plan, right? And that you didn't go all in. Um, so how did you respond to your extreme and mental hunger? And so let's kind of talk about that for a minute because, um, brilliant question. And in essence, I absolutely did go all in eventually. And so I think full recovery, I mean, for me, and I think for most people, full recovery means that that's your all in, right? Full recovery means that you're responding to mental hunger, responding to extreme hunger, and eating all of the foods that you want to eat when you want to eat them, right? That is full recovery and being at your set point and having a clear mind and not calculating anymore. Like all of those things do mean full recovery. And so when I say I didn't go all in, what I mean is when I started recovery, I started with a tablespoon of cottage cheese and I did that until I felt safe. And then I had a quarter cup of cottage cheese and I did that until I felt safe. I um, went to the gym less and then I quit the gym. Like everything was super calculated and super slow for years. I went years taking slow, solid steps forward, okay? Eventually, I did have to, all right, there goes Billy. Eventually, I did have to go all in. So I guess it's not quite completely true. My dog just climbed onto the table, I love that. I guess it's not completely true then when I say I didn't go all in because I did go all in. It just came years after I started recovery and was moving forward in my recovery. Because there did come a time, you're right, it was very much toward the end of my recovery, right? After I had already been moving forward a couple years, when I did have very much extreme hunger and mental hunger, and I was kind of like, fuck it, I do have to eat and eat all the food. And I talk a lot about eating all the pancakes and then eating all the burgers and then eating all the fries and then going to every restaurant and trying every soft serve ice cream that existed. Like I did do that and that was it all in, right? And so I absolutely went very slow in the beginning of my cover recovery, but you're right. As far as what all in is, I did do that. It just came at the end of recovery. So I think when people in the recovery community talk about all in, they're talking about going from not being in recovery and then jumping into eating all the food and then forcing their extreme hunger and all of that that way. That's kind of what I think about when I think about all in, but you are correct. You cannot be recovered without being all in, right? That is what full recovery is. And so absolutely correct. I did go very slow. I've been very slow for years. I ate a little bit of this, a little bit of that, quit this behavior, quit that behavior, threw out my scale, right, over the course of these years. And then eventually, absolutely, I did have to start eating all of the food in the quantities that I wanted. And that's, you know, when I was eating all of the pizzas, all of the everything, the candy bar ice creams, all of the food. And that phase alone, for me personally, that extreme hunger, mental hunger phase where I was eating all of the foods, lasted over six months. Like I thought it was never going to end as do most of you think it's never going to end. I hear this all of the time. I've been doing this for a month. I've been eating all the foods for two months and it's not ending. It took me over six months for that phase to start fading away. And so I, I hear you. I hear what you're saying. And I agree with you. Yes, eventually I did go all in. Eventually we all have to go all in because that is the end of recovery because being recovered is being right. Essentially all in. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Very quick video. Um, yeah, have a, have a, I don't know if this will be up by Christmas. So happy holidays anyway. Happy New Year.